Hello. Hello all. How are we today? Yeah, members planted everywhere. Including when I say I members, that's also a little all little allies. Ramp in my leg. That's how oh. I <laughs> it's okay. I, I just mentioned I've got a heating pad. I'm, I'm not going to die. <laughs> what happened? Oh, I don't even know. I probably just like sat on it wrong. You know, I spent four hours yesterday trying to beat a level in a video game because I'm technically an adult. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, Ethan. I spent four hours trying to beat something in a video game. I might have cramped it that way by sitting in the same place for too long. Okay, okay. Look. As everybody's filtering in, I am going to mute everybody uh, and feel free to unmute yourselves. Uh, okay, so people are... Now, your project's on Hatch. That's amazing. Uh, what's it called? Create a motion blur. All right, let me see. Uh, create, uh, oops. Oh, I did it. It was a really good project. So uh, this is Niles's project. Everybody admire it. Ooh, ah, beautiful. <laughs> uh, I really like how you did a line from mouse X to female X because that makes it smooth. What I tried to do is, because uh, I tried to do it at project description, I tried to make an ellipse. So I'll comment this out. I, I said a uh, fill of zero and then I did ellipse mouse x mouse y um, and then like 10 10 or something. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're checking out Niles' amazing new project. Very proud of you. Kind of see a trail. Yeah, there's a trail, but you can also see that it's a circle. And then in the example, it doesn't look the same. So uh, the way the way Niles did it was uh, with a line. Would you like to explain, Niles, what P mouse X and P mouse Y are? Yeah, I don't know what P X and P Y. You can do the pass coordinates of the mouse. Yeah, it's the very previous coordinate that the mouse was. So you know how with the ellipse it kind of skips over some places. Uh, like there's some there's some gaps if I move really fast. Those are the previous coordinates of uh, mouse X and mouse Y. Is that how it draws the trail? Yes, it connects them with a line. So you can see if I go like really angular that there's some like corners. It's because it's technically a line. It's a bunch what? of lines. Wait, okay, then I should fix my project then. <laughs> Sorry, what did whoever who wasn't Gotham, what did you say? Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the screen share for a second. How's everybody doing now that there's more people here? Good. That's good. good. How are you? Uh, I got a, I got a cramp in my leg. Can you share a motion blur? Yeah, create a motion blur. That's what it's called. Oh, this is Undertale. We're going to talk about that later. What's your question? Where are the questions? Where are the challenges? Because I don't see any challenges. Like, yeah, where are the names? Now, did you make challenges for it? I did, but they're not there. That's unfortunate. I'm sure it'll get fixed really soon. Mm -hmm. Can you show us the creative mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, what's different? You said it was different from Niles's? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I did it. This is the way that Niles did it. I copied him. But when I tried to do it myself, I used ellipses instead of a line. What's the difference? Can you see the difference? This one, you can see that there's a bunch of circles with gaps in between them, but in the example, there's no gaps in between them. Are you able to do quads? Like uh, yeah, we could do a quad. It'd be harder. You'd go probably mouse X, mouse Y, because you'd have to put four pairs of coordinates. So I'd be like uh, mouse X plus 20, mouse Y plus 20, um, and then mouse X plus 20 mouse x uh, mouse y minus 20 mouse x minus 20 mouse y minus 20. Let's see if that works. 
nope, that made a triangle, but <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't need, sorry? Nothing. No, it's okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why that's not a, a proper rectangle, but yeah, you can use any shape and did it will Niles look. Did Niles make this project? Niles did make this project. That you is had correct. to have a skill report of five, level five yes. up to level Or higher. What so, level do you have to be to make that? Um, any uh, level. It's a skills yes. report thing. Oh. Uh, what's up, Ethan? Is Wabbit Yogurt here yet? I don't know. Wabbit Yogurt, raise your hand if you're here, or literally anything. Anyway, what I want to show you is I made a little document of webinar rules for anyone's new. Uh, disclaimer, these are recorded and put on YouTube if Why? and you give because uh, so people can go back and see what we did. If I go too fast, something. Um, there aren't many people on there, but if you're worried that about online privacy, just like don't turn on your camera and you'll be fine. Like Ethan's got a car, picture of a car, and uh, I don't think anybody's gonna <laughs> figure out who he is based on a picture of a car. <laughs> What's up, Leo? It's a virtual background. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, if the group decides you're being annoying, I have to agree with them. I will warn you, kick you out. Um, this is, we've already discussed this, don't spam the chat or else you don't get to chat anymore. If you were bullying people, you don't get to participate anymore. Hi, Ethan, I see you waving. <laughs> uh, this one in particular, uh, we're looking at, this is my next topic, is we're looking into doing an easier version of a webinar. Um, but even if you're like level one, you can still ask me what fill is. If you're level 15, you can ask me how to use object prototypes to create a video game, which is what I'm gonna talk about today, because it's fun. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> also, you're not going to get kicked out for this, but don't talk over people. Be polite. Uh, those are the rules. Uh, you can agree or disagree, but uh, you have to follow them. <laughs> but everyone's been good about that so far. Somebody okay. had a question. Who has a question? Um, can we look at, um, I have a question for a project I'm doing. Yeah, what's the project? Oh, it was a showcase. I was trying to do the snow that we were doing in class, but mine oh. didn't work. Let's check it out. You're, you're Miley, right? Yeah. Okay. Because, <laughs> you know, I hear somebody who sounds like you, and then the Miley screen lights up on my thing, and then I'm like, okay, Miley, and you're like, that wasn't me. <laughs> I know, it's so I'm so weird. confused. Anyway, which snowfall? Yeah. Okay, cool. Our snowflake. X, Y. She didn't push the snowflake. Random. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. Wait, oh, no, sorry. you did? No, I saw it. No, I saw it. Oh, this. Snow at I. Okay. Snow dot push new snowflake. My speed. Well, first of all, oh, never mind. You're right. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. You have this dot X twice. I don't know if you knew that. Um, okay. Snowflake. Background. Somebody's chatting. I need to see what everyone's saying. Play Fortnite. See who else plays Fortnite. I don't play Fortnite. I don't have the time. Uh, you didn't have Fortnite. Playing. I don't have Fortnite now. Yeah, Minecraft. Mine. Yeah, Minecraft. I do have Minecraft. Well, let's get into topics. Let's get into topics. <laughs> Traumatic story. X plus equals snow at I dot speed. If snow is greater than 400, snow at I equals yeah. I don't. I don't know. Should I show this, can I get my code? Sure. Wait, I'm gonna get it. Uh, Word is so is too easy, so I quit. Uh, oh my goodness, what is wrong with this? Oh, I got. Just comment code. out the background for a second. I, I no. think she forgot the draw function. No, I she's have got the draw function. She's got the draw function. Okay, here's my code. I was a hundred. I plus plus. Snow dot push equals new snowflake. Snowflake, this dot x, this dot y. This I send this to you. Ellipse. Snow dot i is not i dot speed. Snow dot y plus equals snow dot y speed. Snow. Snow. I don't even know, man. I send this a code is to you. Distressing. Well, thank you. 
how do you get modes? Is this a coding question or a, oh, mods from for Minecraft? Draw snow, snow, new snow, dot, new snowflake. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's what she did. If snow at y is greater than 400, which is what she did, snow at i equals new snow, snow at i draw snow, snowflakes. Well, that's fine because it's right here. I don't know, my dude. I'm going to have to look through it a little bit, I think, because nothing looks wrong. Uh, you know, I'm going to right now just change the color of the snowflakes just, you know, for test purposes and uh, take out the background. I don't know why that would have an effect. It doesn't. Definitely doesn't. Uh, 255. You know, I'm also going to do change to positive numbers. See what happens. Nope. They're just, they're just not. They're, they, it doesn't want to be happy. It doesn't, you know, I'm sorry, Miley, your code doesn't like you. <laughs> if you want to work on my code, it's in the chat. I see no, your code. I literally size. went. Yeah, your I, code. You, oh, okay. I went through your you whole tried. code, Gotham. And oh, it's like snow at the top. Not the, this one? <laughs> like this? I, re I don't think that'll have an impact. You got you got to push you push it every snowflake into the thing. This uh, X. Oh. I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the for loop's not in the function. No, no, that's fine. There's that's no fine. size for the snow. Oh, that's gr that's a great point. Oh, that's right. By this dot X is probably the this dot size. Probably. Yay! Yay. Thank you, Kyle. You're the man of the hour. Hey. Did the project and fixed Miley's snow. Uh, as you can see, sometimes it's no good to make some of them really, really slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's probably my problem for suggesting that. Um, okay, 15 and 18. Okay. That's... So like, I, like one, one to two, now it's all going to actually fall. But then it does that. So, you know, do, you do what you will. <laughs> I'm going to make it 12. Okay. Um, people are making moon pictures. I hate fish. Oh, that's so sad. Fish. fish. I love fish. <laughs> so I, I wanted it. to ask you guys, I have a couple polls that I'm going to do. Um, we were talking in the coaches meeting about how some people feel like the webinar is through this virtual classroom thing, that it's too hard, which is understandable. Other people feel like it's too easy, um, which is also understandable. I want to get the opinion of people who actually show up like regularly, what like, what you guys think before we make any concrete changes. Um, so I'm going to launch a poll. How do you find the class difficulty? You can say too easy, too hard, or it's fine. And you, um, there's no judgment. Do you know who I, said what? No, no, it's just like- How do I get see a, the poll? It just prompts. Yeah. Oh. How does for the, for the normal people who just comes up and shows up, they'll just say, it's fine. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. It's fine. Submit. Because I, I feel like... Sometimes yeah. it's easy. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes Where's it's fine. Cool? Where's the pool? That's, you know how to that's why there's the it's YouTube cool. channel to catch up. Yeah. You can watch it over and over and over. <laughs> you, you know what, Anne? I don't know the rest of your username. You are allowed to not like fish. Anna, you are not allowed to not like fish. I was I was teasing when I said the fish are crying or whatever I said. <laughs> uh, I click on polls at the bottom of my screen, but I don't know if you guys can see that. So oh, you that. just send it and it comes on top of our screen and we can't exit out. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so you should you should be able to see that. 82% of people say that it's fine. Um, it is more too hard than too easy. Let's see how it ends. It's more too hard than it's too easy. Only one person said too easy. Um, so we're not probably going to make like a harder version of the webinar. Uh, but the coaches are pretty insistent. One second, I'm going to mute everybody. Uh, you may unmute yourself if you have something to say. Um, I think it's fine. I think it's fine, but the coaches, the other coaches are pretty insistent that this is a problem. 
and we need to have an easier version of the webinar. Because the people who are here obviously think it's fine, but then like there are people who won't join. They join like once and then they leave because it's too hard and they're intimidated. So these are, I'm going to launch another poll. It says, what would you rather do? What do you like, these, are, these are some ideas that the coaches come up with. Change one day of the week, week to be an easier day. That's the first option. Okay. It's like on Mondays or on Thursdays or whatever, we go back to basics. We talk about the IDE, we talk about fill, we talk about shapes, we talk about how to log in, whatever. Uh, spend 30 minutes each day on basics. Like every day, half the class would be like really easy stuff. And then the last option is like, just do all that stuff in another webinar. Mm, chat, nobody wants a different <laughs> webinar. <laughs> yeah. I have a question. What's your question? Is this the only webinar or there's multiple webinars? Right now, this is the only one. Um, that's why I put that third option, like have a separate class for just people who aren't ready to do this webinar. Or who are so, this the, so this will be the so this will be the advanced webinar. Yeah. What's winning? Um, change one day to basics day is winning. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted. Same. Okay. So that looks like a reasonable option. Just dedicate one day a week. Would you guys who are more advanced still want to show up on that day or would you just like peace out? Because <laughs> both are valid. I mean, there's still things you could learn in the fash. True. So I think I'll attend because I, I have nothing to do. Yeah, when I was talking the... Uh, <laughs> I was Same. talking to the coaches and I was like, I, I feel like this is a real community in some ways. Here, I'll end the polling so you can see. Um, it is kind of a community. I like it when everybody's here. I'm trying to make it balanced for all of you guys, but I just like having everybody involved. Yeah, and I also can make basic quizzes. <laughs> it's true. Uh, true. We could have uh, on basics day, have, have some more quizzes, review the um, syntax and stuff. All right, thank you for your input. Uh, I have a game to show you. Um, um, I have a question. What's your question? Can we do a quiz? Um, so I was, um, so I was like on Explore and I saw a really cool project. Yeah. Can you like, like share it? Uh, sure. Do you want me to stop my screen sharing, or do you, can, can you tell me which one it was? Can I just put the link in the chat? Yes, go for it. That's a great idea. I thought it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody go look at that link. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can you like share? Yes. Like, I, I can't share my Pixel screen. painter. Oh, it's Miley's pixel painter. Yeah, I really liked it. Pixel uh, painter, what do you do, Lisa? the background. Text. Text. The text doesn't uh, work that okay. It's it like glitchy. Work? Oh wow! Not done. Oh. I'm not done. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, show. But... Everything else works though. Background okay. I don't want to do that actually. And so okay, okay. Okay, cool. Um, we can do this guy. Ooh, beautiful! Yay! Pretty, pretty, pretty. I love it. Great work. Is this your? 150, 200, 255 color? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Then you can set the pen size. Oh, yeah. I forgot to check that out. Da, 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 it's funny originally. <laughs> well, it's a good color. It's a good size. Uh, let me make it 50. <laughs> Super cute. It's a bit too big. I just tried it. I love it. I can splatter all over. I can make. Uh, a rainbow oh, yeah. um, in remembrance of Pride Month that just ended. <laughs> anyway, um, I have this. I can make. I've perfected a. Okay, who's singing? It's usually me. Uh, <laughs> I've I've developed. You know how I'm kind of like I'm a coding tester. I I found. This is what oh, I can of this game. Do you guys know Button Hunt? No. It's super fun. The goal of the game is no. to click on the button. 
as it says right there. And this one, you, you you don't know where the button is, but you can move the TV and click on the button. But it's just like a bunch of different screens with different games on them. You were arrested for clicking the button. <laughs> but obviously, you're not supposed to actually restart. You're supposed to go uh, here. But my point with that is, is you can make a little little game with different screens. Like I keep going back to this, like the house. When you click on something, it moves you to a different screen. By the way, does anyone have any designs for the house? Yeah, oh, but I'm not dead. Okay. You I'm guys work on this. If you have a, a room to put in the house, they can, they can all even be like the same picture. Like they could all be outside the house. Like the, the dining room could be like a house. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, if we really, if everybody wants to make something that looks like the outside of the house and we can just turn it into an art gallery or something. Like if nobody makes the bathroom and we could just have I like five bedrooms. I had the well, weirdest I'm idea. What's your I idea? I have the weirdest idea. I have an uh, idea for the library. Sorry, MJ was talking. Uh, I have an idea for uh, the living room. You could get an image of a dog. With the image that would be great. There's images of the dogs in here. Or a sofa. <laughs> uh, Ethan, what's up? So I have, if there, if you, if there, um, if you, um, if there, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, if you make a, uh, if you make a library, um, I have an idea for it. A library project or a library in the house? Library in the house. We can definitely make a library in the house. What's your idea? Oh, a big book that I've already made. You like that thing, the inside out book? Yeah, sh share the code and I'll put it, I'll make a library here. And then I kind of like made like, I made like, 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 I made like, like, like a title to the, to the book. And What's the I title? also made, 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 made a color for each page. That's amazing. So you got all the challenges done. Excellent. Not all, though. Well, you made a lot of them done. So if you can go with like, copy and paste that code into the chat, I'll put it into the okay. house. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, adding a dog to the living room. What color should the living room be? White. Red. White. Red. Uh, Red. Red. White. Brown. Red, red, prepared. It should be chicken. Transparent red. It should be chicken. Put it in yeah. chat. Just put it in the chat. Yeah, put whatever code you want to include in the chat. Oh, Tame's here. Yay. Uh, oh, can you stop spamming? Don't spam me. Oh, you posted the project? I see, I see. Cool. Um, so what we can do, I will change from the no dining way. room. They Do actually want... changed the da dashboard? Yeah, they changed yeah, they it. Did. They changed oh. it on Friday. Instead I of an office, so cool. I'm going to say library. I'm going to say this dot, or no, rooms at nine, which is the library. That draw room equals function. And put Ethan's book in it. So now if we go here, we can go upstairs. You can go to the library. <laughs> so one, give me a second. I first do rec mode. You messed it up. I messed it up. No, I I'm messed. so sorry. I failed you all. Oh my goodness. I have a question. What's your question? Why were you asking if people would still come if we did a beginner's day? Uh, I wanted to know. I, I wanted to see if it would like. I just want to see if I should be expecting everybody or if people would then not want to come. I was just curious. Because uh, I like having you guys here. I don't want to make something if like only two people are going to show up because that's sad for everybody. Anyway, now we've got uh, our library. It seems to be working okay. It does make, I might have to go into uh, the draw function and put the text align back. 
to center, entry, upstairs, library, upstairs. Okay, perfect, cool. Uh, anyway, I was gonna put a dog in the living room. That was my mission. I was gonna also show you something cool. I figured out how to use these um, images. So let's, do you want the retriever, the puppy, the collies? Can we have uh, a Komodo dragon? The Komodo, yeah, sure we can have a Komodo dragon in the living room. It's a great what? idea. Is what? there a Komodo one? Komodo yeah. dragon in the living room? Obviously. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do, draw background, um, image. Can we have a lying out cheetah inside the living room? We're gonna have what to the living room? A lion and a cheetah. We could do that. Um, <laughs> oh, the problem here is what size to make the dragon. So I can put it like in the bottom corner, so like 350, 350. But if I give it like size 100, 100, and then go to the living room, uh, it might, okay, I need to move it up a little bit. Could you make okay. the, the lion bigger than the screen? Theoretically, yes. I don't know if I will, but I could. This guy's a little smooshy. Like, it's, he's supposed to be long like that, but now he's like squooshed together. Maybe it'll be easier if I make it bigger. 200, 200. Entry, living room. He's a square. He's not supposed to be so squooshy. He's supposed to be like this size. So I found out that what you can do, instead of putting a size, just let it be whatever size it wants to be and do scale. I'll put it at 0 0.5 for now. Entry. Uh, living room, and there now it, it's the same dimensions. Of course, after you are done with your scale, you can put reset matrix, and everything else will go back to normal because you see, like, the buttons are all tiny, but now it's normal. Here's a Komodo dragon in the living room, scale to the rescue. I can even make him smaller. Does that compute with anybody? Did I, did I lose anybody with that? No. Nope. Cheetah? Okay, cool. Let's, let's add a cheetah. Uh, where's the cheetah? Okay, oh, where's the cheetah? You missed the there cheetah. There's a cheetah in here? Oh, here's the cheetah. Thank you. Da, da, mm. da, da. <laughs> da, da. Image. It's little Eaton. Oh, is it Sebastian back? <laughs> uh, you want me to get him? No, no, it's fine. Okay. I was just curious about what uh, Gotham says. meant. Offensive? <laughs> no, I'm not like anti Sebastian or anything. I'm ageist. Nobody under six can be here. <laughs> I can't, really? Oh, it's because scale. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm dun, under dun, six. Dun. Ages. Oh, I just got it. Wow. I'm four. Didn't know what ageist means. Yes, I just realized what you meant with ages. I believe. It's a real term. Is it? Yeah. I got shot by the FBI. I got some Googling to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> from being, from your gunshot wounds? There's this this other song that goes like this. What somebody told me, the word was macaroni, so I picked it right out of a tree. It just got kind of funny, and I speed it out of bunny, and the bunny starts swearing at me. When hey, that's, you, that's, you know, that's very something. entertaining. Unfortunately, it has nothing to do with coding. Um, and he threw a lightsaber at me. <laughs> lightsabers? <laughs> it makes uh, me laugh. What right? I was gonna... Have, have any of you guys played of, baby. this game? Uh, what is it? Whoa, Undertale. Undertale. What is that game? Oh, yeah, uh, Undertale. Gonna check out oh my god, fans. Sands, oh my, ah, uh, it's sand, yes. <laughs> <I play laughs> that was actually really good. <laughs> I play roller ink. So I'm going to make it big. Let me know if you can see it. Can you still Wait, see so are you going to just actually play the game? I'm going to play a little bit of it, yeah, so everyone's aware of what yes. I'm talking about. Wait, name, um, it, name it Frisk for a joke hard mode. <laughs> okay. Play um, can can you see it still? Is, yes. is the game free? Yeah. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not uh, free. Paid. How much does uh, it cost? Say, oh my goodness. 15 million. It doesn't cost Wait, much. Like this is five something that you guys could totally code. Having all the letters in a row and when you move the arrow keys, it changes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm supposed to name it Frisk, so I can do that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's some joke names that you can make. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, okay, sure, let's do it. Um, so basically, it's like when you move to the side, the screen changes. You move a little character. You know how to do this because there's the code move character. Uh, or, or yeah, there's a move character project. So then if, uh, if, if the character reaches a certain coordinate on the screen, changes. Howdy, my matey. So your project might not uh, be so pretty like this, but you could definitely have it when they click, a new text box comes up. But is somebody working on making a replica of Undertale? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. I'm just saying, like, this is something uh, that you, okay. I'm just going to get hit by the thing just so we can skip through all this. Yeah, this is the biggest anime betrayal you've ever seen. Yes. Hey, what is this? Sorry to traumatize you all. It's okay. He's he's a wuss. He's not serious. Yes, oh, he is. You're, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to spoil the game. Everybody's going to play it. Die. It's okay. We're going to get saved by Goat Mom. Yes, by Goat Mom. <laughs> yes. What? Okay. So, you know, you guys can, like, you animated Pac-Man, so you could totally make a character slide in on the screen. Toriel always creeps me out for some reason. So, yeah, you can make something in between, and you don't have to do that. Your voice is not clear. Oh, yeah. Is it better? No, no. no. It's like like, it's... Well, I'll stop. I'll stop the game now. That's the only tool guy. But like, uh, yeah, yeah, is, oh, there, is there, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So obviously we can't recreate Undertale perfectly, but that's kind of a linear story game that uh, I'm thinking about. Um, so I. What's your question? Sorry to interrupt. No problem. Um, but I just wanted to say on Friday, I remember us doing like some Pac-Man thing. Can you teach us how to code the thing with the ghosts that you were showing us that day? Oh, Miley's ghosts. The the ghosts from Miley's projects? Yeah. Is um, Wabbit Yogurt here yet? <laughs> Miley, would you be up to show us how to make your ghosts? I'm here, except my name is different. It's, it's Jaden H. Anyway, um, Miley, well, are you still there? Yeah. Whoa, somebody's spamming. Um, Miley, are you with us? Miss Brenda, yeah. your screen yeah. is so weird. Like, there's this gray thing from the game. Okay. It's so weird. Is it better? Yeah, now it's gone. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, Miley, would you... One second. Miley, would you be able to go over how you made your ghosts? Like, on another day? Oh, sure. Okay, cool. What was Wait. your question? Is Wabbit Yogurt here yet? I don't want to hear that question anymore because Wabbit Yogurt is answering in the chat. Really? Yes. Oh. All right, or maybe on the chat. They said... Uh, Wabbit Yogurt. They said, I'm here, I just have a different name. It's, it's Jaden H, yeah? Oh, Jaden H, okay. Okay, we good? Who's yeah. Wabbit Yoga? It's somebody who plays the quizzes a lot, and I guess that's their username, and their friends. The person who's asking for them, and, and the person who has that username. Yeah, we've been oh, okay. Fortnite together. Hatch has a TikTok. Wait, what is it? I can follow you guys. Can it's, you show Hatch, it's Hatch Coding. Can you show us? Okay. Uh, TikTok. TikTok. Do you have Do you have a profile? Mm, Hatch does. So, um, like this is one that I made the other day. Oh, it's muted. Okay. We'll start that again. Hey guys, guess what I just whipped up today? It was really good. It was a super cool and innovative website where kids can learn to code. <laughs> just kidding, that was Peter. I made a cheesecake. Hey guys. So, you know, just silly <laughs> stuff like that. You actually made a cheesecake? Yeah, I actually did make a cheesecake and I wanted to show it off. <laughs> really? That way. Yes, it was delicious. Oh, no. Why didn't you give us some? Because. 
I would have to put it in the mail, and food doesn't do well in the mail. <laughs> I, I can code a cheesecake with you, but it's not going to be very yummy. Uh, what I oh. oh, I was playing with HSB, um, so I can teach you guys about it. <laughs> um, everyone other than Niles, because I'm learning from Niles, <laughs> from looking at Niles' projects. Um, how to you make an object like 3D, like a 3D object? Go ahead, buddy. I mean, I don't know anyway. I was just saying that's a cool idea. To yeah. So, I mean, one thing you could do is like, let me go to my, my painter. Haha, <laughs> I love my painter. Is there a specific thing you have to like put other than like quad? I don't think it really supports 3D. It's not a 3D yeah. rendering software. You'd yeah. have to draw things like, um, Donkey, Super Donkey Kong or something like that. They used 3D pixel art, but it wasn't actually 3D. It just looked 3D because of the way they drew it. Like you could draw, I don't know if you've ever done the thing where you draw a square and then you oh, draw yeah. another square and then yeah. you connect all the, and then it looks 3D. Yeah. I mean, that's the worst square I've ever seen, but uh, <laughs> that is like a broken square. That's a square that is like a cardboard box that was left in the rain. Um, so you can do stuff like that. You can load in images mm -hmm. that look 3D. You can right. give things a shadow so that they have the impression of being 3D. But it's, I think what you're referring to is like 3D models like you would have in Blender. Play with Blender. It's fun software. Um, what, Blender? Let me see if I can, I made something on it. Or I think that was on my old computer. No! Um, anyway, it's, it's a, let me see, I'll share the screen. This is like hey. not even coding anymore. <laughs> uh, Blender Guru Donut. Yeah, so there's a guy with a 3D software. He made a tutorial on how to make uh, this picture using, oh. using a 3D editing software. And I made my own version of it. Like this is his version. Oh. Uh, so he has a tutorial for it. Um, is that his version or is his version? Well, they're no. all very similar because they all Yo follow donut. the tutorial. Or I think like this a was a classic made donut. Yeah, so this is completely made with um, starting with basic shapes and, and using Blender to make 3D rendering things. It takes forever to do it. So JavaScript can't do that. It can't like imagine what 3D things would look like. Um, you would have to like Can download I this. Sorry? Can I, I don't think. Hatch. Yeah, not on Hatch and not, that's not really what it was made for. It's not really one of the things it's good yeah. at, um, especially programming for websites. Website programming is not meant to create like new assets, which like load things in from other artists and then like sew it all together so it looks like a pretty thing. Like, um, yes, what's up? If we, no, like we, if someone like made a website out of JavaScript, would it like crash Hi. a lot of times? That's like a, that? if it does, it wouldn't be because of JavaScript. You right. need HTML, otherwise the website won't exist. Like oh, it yeah. won't, you, you, you need HTML for like actually making the website, CSS for making it better looking and JavaScript for making it interactive. Thank you. That was a wonderful answer. What, um, coding language that is but that's cool uh yeah the, so the coding concepts are pretty similar well, yeah. yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm going to make one of those clickable interactive games like button hunt so my my result is probably going to be more like button hunt than from undertale oh. html stands for hypertext markup language yes thank you um so just in case you guys want to make your own like dungeon crawler, kind of like Undertale, except with the graphics of Button Hunt. <laughs> I'm gonna make uh, it's it's. I'm just gonna show you how to do the setup because I think I've got a pretty elegant solution. What I did is I made a, a a room object and I gave it the properties of that um draw room it doesn't really matter what you call it um and then this dot click <clears throat> just those two things too 
right now they're empty, but they can be customized. Like, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say for bar i equals zero, i equals then however many rooms you want. Why are you um, putting it in a fog shed? I'll show you. It all will be revealed in Grasshopper. Grasshopper? <laughs> That's so it's like an old reference. Um, uh, it's probably slightly racist. From like a racist old movie. New room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up a bunch, uh, fill up the rooms object with a hundred different rooms. So now I can have like a hundred different seeds that it can cut to. Like almost like pages in a book. In the draw function, I'm also going to make a variable called our room number. Say, are we looking at room number one? Are we looking at room number two? Are we looking at room number three? Et cetera, et cetera. I'm just going to call rooms at room number dot draw room. So what does so room stop push do? It puts a new like page Bobby in our book. Need your help. What's up, Badly? All right then. Oh, okay. So what I've got is I've got like a, a container, a little box that holds uh, a picture and something to do when you click. And and so this is basically like what the scene looks like and how you can interact with it. And I've stored a bunch of those little packages in a big long array. So a bunch of, a bu they each have their own little slot on the wall, like a cubby. So I, I am storing, I'm tying together, I'm putting all in a neat little row, um, a scene and how you can interact with the scene. So for every, for whatever room we're on, whatever scene we're on in the drops function, we're gonna draw the room. And in the mouse click function. Babbly is raising his, Babbly is raising his hand. I ask you Babbly one more time. What is I'm your on the project called milliseconds? Yes. I think I I've written the entire code, and it's not doing anything on the canvas. Oh, I don't want to log out. Ah! <gasps> you might lose all your work. I think I could help okay. him with that because I already finished um, the millisecond coding thing. I just want to see why it's not showing. So it was milliseconds, and I will get back to which one is this, the Python one or the JavaScript one? You have no idea about that. The JavaScript one. Sorry about that. Milliseconds. Draw. Okay, so there's this thing right here. Um, warning sign. That means something on this line is wrong. It's because he has a comma after. This one, it'll tell you. Missing semicolon. Okay. So all that was wrong was there's a comma after 204. It didn't tell me that was what's wrong, but it did tell me this is the line that's messed up. So I read over it and that's how I was able to find the comma. And that's probably how Miley's also able to find the comma. Um, so yeah, you've done it mostly right, which is the good news. <laughs> um, let's, let's go back to whatever I was doing over here. How to make your own dungeon crawler. What are you getting? It's already, oh, you lost your mouse click. That's okay. Whatever will I do? Free writing. You can never type mouse clicked again. You only have like three tries to type the word mouse clicked and then in your whole life and then you can't type it anymore after that. I'm kidding in case anybody's confused. So uh, basically what I've done, as I've said, whichever, whichever scene we're in, draw it. Whatever whatever scene we're in, do the, do the click function. So now I can take all a hundred rooms. I can say like, oh, this is gonna be room zero and I'll, and I'll redefine the functions. Um, room, rooms at zero, I'm gonna make room number start at zero, uh, equals function and the function, what, what should the first scene look like? Maybe it should, maybe it should be I'm gonna mute everybody real quick. Welcome. All right, I'll make it say welcome. Maybe I'll say background, I'll put a, I'll put Miley's blue, this is what we're calling this now. Miley's blue background, I'll put a, a rect mode center, I'll put a stroke of, oh, stroke of 
uh, weight of like six, so it's nice and thick. I'll put a, a sign, a rectangle at position 50, 50, and have it be like the whole screen. I'm going for like a Stardew Valley vibe. Uh, maybe it's 300, 300, maybe that'll look better. And I'm gonna color it like a nice beige. So I'm gonna go RGB color picker and uh, it can be something like, ooh, beautiful. That's exactly the color I want. Here's my fill. I have a question. What's your question? For, for RGB color picker, how do you get brown? Because I can't get brown. Oh, it's, you, oh, you just, just go into just orange. Down. Dark orange. You go to like mid orange. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or you can yeah. do 125 or 145 zero, zero. Yeah, you can do like a dark red that works too. What I do is okay. I go into orange. A bit of a shade of red. In the middle of black and I always do. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, my leg is better. Remember my leg was cramping at the beginning? Really? Oh, it was? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Um so it should it should be working now. Oh no. Rex mode of center. Oh I need to be quiet. Yeah. Uh, it just needs to be two hundred, two hundred. Who was that? Oh no. Why is this going weird? I need to make my text size bigger. Size. Well, how big should the text be? 50? 50. 100, 400. Well, that's nice. Well, um, and I want the this side to be... like a bit flat. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Welcome. So then what I can do, and it automatically calls it. How did you call? Wait, what? I look, I set a room number to be zero. Hello. And I made this the the draw function or the, the yeah, the draw room function in the the object at room zero. So at like page zero, I made this the draw function and it calls, it'll also automatically call the um, mouse clicked function. So if I do rooms at zero, at uh, zero, oh goodness, dot click this function, I will make the mouse clicked function for the welcome scene. I'll say, if mouse x is greater than, um, I'm, okay, it's 200, 200, 300, greater than 50, and mouse x is less than 350, and mouse y is greater than 100, and mouse y is less than, question. what's your question? I forgot. Okay. <laughs> so what I've done is I've outlined this um picture this this welcome thing i said if you click on that room number plus plus make it be the next one uh and there's nothing to draw in the next one so what we can do is say rooms at one oh, dot no. draw room so i'm making the next scene over what should the next scene over be um, maybe it should be like this is how you play instructions beautiful um, so I'll put a background, I'll make it my favorite color in, it's not, my favorite color is purple, but this is my favorite color in, uh, JavaScript, RGB, and I'll say text, um, I'll say text size is 20 now, yes, what's, um, Kai, please unmute yourself and ask your question. I'll say instructions. I'm gonna put position 50, uh, no, wait, 200. What's up? Hi. So all I have to do now is make, so this is gonna be room one. So if I wanted, I could keep going like rooms at two, draw, rooms at three, draw, and then change every time what I have to click on to get to the next thing. So like maybe in this case, I have to, um, there'll be like a, like a forward arrow and I can make a triangle. Uh, I'll make the fill dark brown because we were wondering how to get brown. 
So I'm going to make it like this color. Uh, you can also go to RGB skin tones. Um, but some of these aren't skin tones. So what's up? I, I have a I have a brown color I want to show you. Okay. Here. Which um, one? Done. It's supposed to be a... Uh, Let me find a project. I'm going to take Andrews for now. Because okay. we've got Miley Blue in the background. <laughs> Miley Blue. That's not your blue? Yeah, mine's 100, not 150. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Why yeah, is this 1250? Blue, blue is a... Uh, Oh. Sorry, Andrew, can you repeat what your colors were? Hold on, hold on. Let me just, I want to see what this, oh, oh, the color is 50-45, no, 50-45. Oh, perfect, thank you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the no. room number to be one. No, change to zero, 255 and 255. I already asked uh, Andrew for his, his number, but you can definitely give us a color uh in a next another another time what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make an ellipse uh 350 350 and i'm gonna make it 20 20 and i'm gonna say a question what's up um before javascript when you were doing showcases you mm -hmm. were allowed to do the green stuff but now after yeah. the hatch like platform revamped then now you're yeah. not allowed to you're allowed to do what sorry you cut out right when i heard what you were allowed to do <laughs> You're not allowed to take a screenshot of your paper project. Hmm. So before you were and now you can't? Yeah. I'll, I'll get them to fix that. <laughs> Can you do it in normal projects? Yeah. There's a button that says take a screenshot. Um, I also have there. a question. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking What's about your your cases, not real um, projects. I, did you want to, um, because um, I'm doing projects and um, it's like not counting for like my XP to level up. It's because um, of, yeah, go ahead. Um, coaches have to mark it. No, I've been waiting about like a month or something. And what like color? Not, what color are your projects in the project library? Um, because uh, I've done a lot of um. It says to complete three suko. Hey, what color are your projects in the project them? library? Like, can you share your screen? If they're purple, it means you haven't submitted them. I am still working on the thing that trick. Oh, okay. I'm not just like waiting. <laughs> I'll put the uh... okay, so uh I have uh green. Most of them are green and then blue. Okay, so they're not approved. Yeah. Can you write your username in the chat so I can have the coaches look into it? Okay. Thank you. Room two. So I'm just going to do rooms at uh, two dot draw room so literally you just build each room from draw room and click functions and you can also do like key press and stuff if you want to uh, i'm gonna make a background that's black and i need to go now okay bye, bye. guys let me get like 60 text uh you lose <laughs> you know i'm all into uh, annoying humor Put it in 200, 200. So here's, here's the game. If we start uh, so that room number is zero, it says welcome. Uh, I guess I will put a stroke, stroke of zero. Click on it, instructions, click, you lose. Bye-bye, <laughs> have Bye. a good day. So this is can kind of like the quiz. Can we do a quiz? We have six minutes, but we can do a quiz tomorrow. Wait, I have a project. Um, I have sound whistle sound that I need help with. It won't work. Same the, here. The link is broken. The sound link. The because oh. I, I tried this myself. Um, the whistle. Sound whistle. Work. Yeah, the actual link is broken. In the Let project, me just the wait. Project? So what am I supposed to do for a sound? Then you can go. Yeah, to get a new sound. Yeah. How? Yeah. 
So if you break it down, break it down. Yeah. Not that component. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in this component. Okay. Um, Try to break it down one more time. Thank you. So yeah, if you go to this link, if you actually like copy it and paste it, it's like you clicked on a dead or obsolete link. So, oh, okay. So what I like to do, one second, is uh, my instance. Yeah. It's not always appropriate, but they do always work. Um, yeah. So even on this page. The pac -Man word. Uh, yeah, we can. You can also use the Pac-Man sound. Am I Pac-Man? I I I missed a letter. Maybe maybe you search it like that. Uh, and dog whistle. Yeah, it was it was right over there. You saw it. Dog whistle. Yeah. No, stop. Can we do whistle? Just whistle. Because that was too loud. Uh, just whistle. Okay. Do <laughs> Old Spice whist. Do uh, whistle to a pretty girl. Do whistle. Or train whistle. Train whistle. Train whistle. Where's the train whistle? It's on the whistle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> What, what? I, I really like the, uh, oh, there's a song. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I like the other one. It was like, ta -da -ta. Yeah. yeah. To get it, you, you can use this link and like drag it over. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, that didn't work as planned, but make sure the HTTPS is there. Uh, drag it over. Bam, now you can cut and paste it. See, I can cut and paste it anytime, but I want you to actually be able to do your projects. <laughs> okay, I'm going to head out. Thanks for your time. Hope this was a little bit interesting, making like a clicker video okay. game. And uh, really? thank you for your input on basics. And we'll do a quiz tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Uh, the basics review will be like, um, I don't know what the basics day will be. I'm thinking Thursday because it's like Thursday or Friday. Friday is Monday. Have a, sorry? Friday is fun day. Make it Monday. Yeah, Friday is fun day. That's what I was thinking. Monday, Monday. is when I have all my best ideas. <laughs> So I want it to be like a sincere day so that I can actually like do engaging things after I've had the weekend to think about it. And then Tuesday is quiz day. So we're between Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> okay. Have a good day, everyone. Bye. 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 Have a great day. Bye. Have a great day.